Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I just got off work and I'm super tired. So it's gonna be, you know, big tee, basketball shorts, hair up in a bun, super lazy video. And it's gonna be kind of a short one, but it's something that kind of caught my attention a few days ago and I would just like to bring it to light. So this video is going to be on the Amityville Horror. Now, I love anything paranormal, ghosts, aliens, you know, houses that make people go crazy and kill their entire families. Stuff like that really intrigues me. So, little short story, I was on Facebook the other day and I love you baby. Let me say hi. Bend down. Bend down. Sorry, that was my nephew. So, anyways. Sorry. So, I was on Facebook, and I was doing those, can you, like, find out the name of the movie with, like, five sentence, five uh, word type things? And so, I was going through, and I was doing pretty good, obviously, because I love anything scary. And it came across the Amityville Horror, which I knew automatically, because I've seen the movies and everything. I haven't read the books. But I have seen the movies. So, and then when you do answer it right, it gives you kind of like um, information about it. And it, was, and it said that Amy DeVille Horror was written by Jay Anson. And it was inspired by the Lutz's time in the house. and But it was proved to be a hoax. Now, I've known about the Amy DeVille Horror since I could walk. And I thought it was just so creepy that a house with evil demons, sludge, and a basement full of hell was fascinating to me. So I did some research and come to find out it was actually a hoax and it made me so upset. So basically what happened, for those of you who don't know, is Ronald Defoe killed his family in the Amityville Horror House. Uh, he, When he was on trial, he tried to plead insanity and said that he heard voices telling him to kill his family. So that he did. And, you know, the Lutz has moved in knowing about the history of Ronald Defoe and his family and the murders. He, they knew about that. And, you know, I feel like they did it for publicity. I feel like they did it for the money because they were on so many talk shows and everything like that. And they were getting a lot of money. Well, Jay Anson actually said that he and the Lutzes like had dinner and went through like four or five bottles of wine and basically were making up things that sounded scary to put in his book. Yeah. And I just think that's so messed up. And even Ronald Defoe actually said when he knew that he couldn't get the insanity plea that he lied. He lied and said he heard voices and he never actually heard voices. He was just some like psycho murderer. And anyways, it's going to be a really short video, but that just really made me angry. And I told my sister about it too. Hala. And she was just telling me that she was so upset and she's just going to pretend that it's real. Because that's what we knew. But it's just really annoying. And I just wanted to share it with y'all. So sorry about this small video. Sorry for being in a big t-shirt, but I'm super tired. I just got off work and I wanted to make sure I put a video up. So until next time, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And leave me suggestions. And just let me know what you guys want to see and I'll do that for you. Okay, guys. Mwah! Bye.